welcome to this module on the use of social drivers or determinants of health, or SDOH, ICD-10, CM, Z codes, and documentation. This module is provided by Superior Health Quality Alliance or Superior Health. The intended audience for this module is all staff members in clinical settings who care for a variety of patients. Its purpose is to highlight Z codes that can be used to capture SDOH, allowing for systemic data collection within medical or electronic health records or EHRs. This module provides a review of each section of the SDOH Z code documentation guide. The link for this guide is available for print or download in the module description. Upon completion of this module, the learner will be able to recognize who can document Z codes, discuss the importance of capturing SDOH in patient EHRs, identify which Z codes are eligible for third-party billing, and describe ways to connect patients with additional supports when SDOH are identified. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services defines SDOH as the conditions in the environments where people are born, live, learn, work, play, worship, and age that affect a wide range of health, functioning, and quality of life outcomes and risks. While we, here at Superior Health, are aware that many care settings regularly screen their patients for social drivers of health, we also recognize that many may not be aware that SDOH indicators can be billed via claims data when they are captured in patient records using diagnosis codes or Z codes. We developed this guide to help support organizations in the collection of Z codes specific to persons with potential health hazards related to socioeconomic and psychosocial circumstances, such as education and literacy, employment, housing, the ability to obtain adequate amounts of food or safe drinking water, and occupational exposures, and more. So why is it important to capture Z codes? Capturing Z codes in patient records validates taking a little extra time to talk with patients about their individual circumstances, supports referrals to other specialists and offers the opportunity to connect patients with community resources, which in turn could also help reduce readmissions by identifying and addressing patient needs that might be met with the help of community supports. In addition, the relationship between billing and coding offers a codified way to document patient needs and give well-rounded patient care while building a database for community-specific data mining. Commercial and government payers are interested in consistently collecting this information using standardized data, not only for reimbursements, but to also address specific patient or community population needs and design interventions to help fulfill those needs. Medical coders can report SDOH Z codes if they are, collected by front staff, medical assistants, social workers, case managers, nurses, or clinicians, or if they are self-reported by the patient and the information is signed off by either a clinician or the patient's provider. In both cases, the information must be captured in the patient's medical record. And it's important to note that these codes should not be used as the primary diagnosis. They are used to indicate a problem that is not an illness or injury, but may influence patient care. Some vendors are building resources directly into EHRs to be shared across settings or through information exchanges. A couple of examples are NowPow and Unite Us. The tables in this guide include codes that are eligible for billing in black and those that are not eligible for billing in red. For the ones in red, use another code in the series that has a greater level of detail for billing. So for example, Z56.8 in the table to capture problems related to employment and unemployment became effective in 2016 when SDOH Z codes were first introduced and since has been expanded to capture more diagnosis detail. Z56.81 and Z56.82 can be used to identify sexual harassment and military deployment. 
Z56.8 is now Z56.89 for other problems related to employment. Be aware that claim reimbursements may not be in place for all payers and codes, and not all EHRs may have the capability to record SDOH. Contact your vendor to discuss capturing SDOH codes in your EHR. Please note, there are codes noted in the tables in the guide with an asterisk, which were added um, on October 1st and may still be in the process of being added to EHR systems. Further updates may be added at later dates. If appropriate, you can refer patients to local and or regional community resources, such as social services, community or mental health, primary or specialty care, and more. Gathering a list of your local community resources into one document can be a handy tool for referring patients. And the couple of resources here could be added to that list. They can be accessed online by staff or shared with individuals and families for them to access on their own. Findhelp.org is an online zip code search to help locate local and regional resources. And Dial 211 helps direct callers to appropriate agencies and community organizations according to needs. There are some other resources included in the guide that offer more information on the collection of Z codes and examples of patient screening tools that you can reference. Many care settings are implementing SDOH screening tools into their patient check-in processes and visits. As a reminder, the link to the guide is in the module description below. Please contact Superior Health if you have any questions or would like more information. Thanks for listening. Keep an eye out for upcoming modules around Z codes and SDOH related topics.